Hey everyone, it's Carly and welcome here back to my channel. I had a request on one of my recent videos to do a updated makeup routine. So I thought I would do one for the summer since I do kind of switch it up between winter and summer and I do have some new summer favorites that I'd love to share with you guys. So I thought it'd be fun to bring you in to my bedroom, sit on my floor, just chat about all of my favorite makeup products and how I'm doing my face as of late. So I hope that you guys enjoy this. If you do, definitely give it a huge thumbs up. And if you guys are new to my channel, I would love to have you subscribe here for the next one and join this community and this family. And with that being said, let's jump into the makeup. So I've done my hair, but for the purpose of this video, I might put it in a little pony. So for summer, I just really love having like a bronzed glowy look. And so I tan like my body and my face. Um, so I don't like to wear like too, too much foundation. So actually what I do is I just wear a concealer. So sometimes I'll just use like a CC cream, but I've been really loving this concealer. So that's what I start out with. I've already like washed and prepped my face. And I will say I don't wear makeup every single day. That's definitely not... Uh, something that I do, I used to have to feel like I needed to wear makeup all the time. Um, but in the summer, it's nice to just like give your skin that time to breathe. And I still have like blemishes and stuff, but I just feel like my best when I don't have too, too much makeup on in the summer. So that's just a little recap of like what I like to do um, for my skin during the summer. But like I said, I've been really loving using a concealer all over my skin. So this one here is the Maybelline um, Fit Me Concealer. It's a little bit darker for me, which matches my skin, but I just love the way that this looks. So like I said, I do have quite the breakout for some reason, which it's just always, every single time I do a skincare routine or my makeup routine, my skin is like the worst it's ever been. So, but that's okay because that's just life. And sometimes your skin doesn't work with you. Okay, so as you guys can see, I kind of just put it on the key places of my face where I want the most coverage and then I'll just blend it out everywhere. So I'll take my beauty sponge and just blend this all together. And I just love the way that it like spreads out. It gives a nice even skin tone and it's just like the perfect amount of coverage, but not too much. And I love using the concealer because you get that like perfect finish it's not like a dewy foundation a matte foundation it's just like perfect consistency for the summer you can add highlighter to make it a little bit more dewy um a powder if you want and i just love it and it's so fast it is so fast to do my makeup this way and also because there's not a ton of product i feel like i don't have to be like too picky about the blending of course i want it blended in every spot but it just like goes on my face so easily Okay, so as you guys can see, that was just like one application and you can still like see my blemishes, but it's not like they're not as red as they were before. And so I'm not going to like conceal anymore. If I wanted to, I could go over again on those spots, but I feel like they look okay. I might do a tiny bit more on this one. Um, but again, it's like, I just want an easy, like natural daytime look. And sometimes you have like spots and that's okay. But for the most part, I just wanted all of my skin to be the same Tone. So I'll add a little bit more to those spots and then I think we should be good to go This one is just like gonna give me <laughs> a tricky time. So I won't worry too much about it but the rest look really good and For my eyelids I just took like whatever was left over underneath my eyes and just put it on my eyelids just for like a tiny little conceal again I just want everything to be like the same tone. So I don't worry too much about like covering my eyelids. I just want um, them to match like the rest of my skin. So that's all I'm gonna do for um, as far as like foundation or like that first base goes. And then I'm just going to hop into my bronzer and I'll do a little bit of bronzing, um, nothing too crazy. I'm still just using my favorite um, Wet n Wild bronzer. This is the Sunset Strip Tease and <laughs> I love it. It's like the perfect bronzer for me. And I just do a little bit. It's easy to blend. Again, everything with like my daytime one is just very easy and natural. So I don't spend too much time like carving out my face. I'll just bronze it up a little bit and then we're good to go. Moving into blush, which is a huge favorite of mine in the summer. Um, this is the Kylie Cosmetics Blush in Rosie and it is so 
beautiful. I love this color. I love to do like a very rosy color like this, but I also love to do a nice orangey coral. So I kind of um, dip in between like two different blushes, but today I was feeling the rosy and it's just like makes your face completely pop adds so much color and life into your skin and i just do not know what i would do without blush i could put on blush for like hours i love it so much so i just put it on my cheeks there and you can see it just like brightens up my face makes me feel so like feminine and put together and i just i love it so much next i'm going to go into my highlight and this is the jaclyn hill i don't know these are like the loose um highlighting powders and this one is in the shade extra and these go a long ways so I just do the tiniest little tap and then I'll swirl it around in the cap and then I apply it because it, these are in I mean they're Jaclyn Hill so you know that they're going to be like very blinding very highlighting e so I just do the same thing I dip into the container and then I put it on the lid and swirl it around and that's what I use for my highlighter and it's stunning I also have the my sister actually gave me these, which she's crazy, but she was just like over a highlighter and so she gave me these. And this is the um, this is the flash palette, so it's just the highlighter palette, which I love these as well, but for some reason the loose highlighters are just like what I gravitate to. They're just so easy to blend, like they don't clump up, they're so, so easy to blend. And I think that they just look like wet and dewy and that's just like what I want so I put a little bit on my nose I put a little bit on my chin and then I just make sure the rest of my face is just like nice and highlighted and then I'll also take what's ever left over in this little cap I'll put it here on my collarbones and on my shoulders again this is just like the perfect summer trick it's just so glowy and dewy and if you're outside by the pool or on a date night and you're wearing a nice little top that like shows off your chest area, I just feel like it looks so perfect. So I do that every single day. So that's basically my face. So you guys can see, it's really fast, it's really quick. I don't wanna spend too much time, but I also wanna look like put together and just natural and dewy. So that's all for the face. Now we can kind of go into the eyes. And again, it's very, very simple. So I'm taking my Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette, Renaissance, excuse me. And it's so, <laughs> dirty and worn out but I love it so much and I love to take the shade golden ochery oh this one here like golden something I don't really know what it's called but I take it right here you can see like there's barely anything left and I just pop that right on my crease and I'm not too like finicky with it I do like a quick little blend and it's like the perfect shade to like match the rest of my concealer I just think it like Gives a little bit of definition to my eyes, but it's not like a straight brown or an orange. It's just a nice in-between that I think works really well for the daytime. And I just dipped into this once and I used it for both eyes. So a very light coverage. And then what I've been doing recently is dipping into this um, Flower Beauty highlighting little palette here. And I like to go into... Nope. <laughs> I like to go into this first one here. It's just like a nice, it's a nice in between between both. Like it's not too pink, but it's not like super bronzed. And I'll just do the tiniest bit with my finger. And these are very pigmented as well. And I kind of take a little, like I'm just very messy with it. So I'm sorry, this is not like a tutorial. I'm just kind of showing you guys what I use, but I'm kind of messy with it because I like it to go like in the corner of my eyes. And I don't really care if there's like the tiniest fallout there. I know that's probably bad. But so I just dip my finger in and swirl it all around. And it's just like the prettiest. Again, it's just like I want to be so glowy. So then I'll take um, that blending brush that I just used and go back in just a little bit on the crease just to redefine that. And that's my eyes. <laughs> So, so easy. I don't wear any liner. Sometimes I'll do like a shadow liner, but today I'm not really feeling it. So I'm gonna just hop right into my mascara and I use two different mascaras right now. This one I got from my friend. It's the Artistry Studio um, NYC Lash Boosting Mascara. And I really like it. I love using two different kinds because I feel like this one really gets my eyelashes up and moving and awake and like really separates them. So I really like it and it's very black. And when you're not wearing an eyeliner, it's nice to have a very black mascara. 
Okay, so that's my first little layer, and I got a little smudge on there, but I'm just gonna let it dry and then flake it off. Um, and then the second coat that I do, I love to use the Essence I Love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. This is another one of my favorites. I repurchase this all of the time from Ulta, and it's my favorite. I just feel like it adds that like fluffiness because it's not too, too wet. So it's nice to go in as the second coat and just really like fluff everybody up. Okay, and those are my eyelashes. I don't do any on the bottom just because I feel like it can make them look real. I just like don't think I do it well. So I just look very like doll-like and spidery almost. And that's not really the look that I'm going for right now. And I feel like if I were to get wet or sweat or something, it would just fall. So that's what I do for my eyes. And then my eyebrows are extremely easy. I finally got them done. I got my eyebrows done in February, right before I went on a trip for my friend's wedding and I haven't had them done since. And I'm sure that you guys can totally tell through all the vlogs how just insane they were. And I never, I cannot tweeze my eyebrows. It's so scary and so hard. So I just let them grow, which was absolutely terrifying. So I finally got them done. So I'm so excited to do my brows for you guys. So for my brows, I just do the Maybelline um, Brow Ultra Slim. It's like a nice little easy pencil. And I'll just go through and brush them up Again, I'm not like the best at my brows and I feel like my brows, I don't know, I have good ones in the sense that they're like, I don't know, they're fine, they're a fine shape, but they're not like the best or perfect and so, I don't know, I've just learned to love them, <laughs> but they're not my favorite. I'm gonna line them pretty lightly, so I do a little stroke so that it looks just like hair and I kind of fill in any of the gaps that I have and I'm not really like lining them, I'm just kind of filling in. And then I'll take the spoolie again and just kind of brush that product throughout the rest of the brow. And as you guys can see, like they're pretty fluffy and light, but like they're pretty defined. So it's nice to kind of have that like defined brow, but pretty like natural and still like have the hairs that you can see. Um, I just feel like it makes it look like very easy and natural on your face. So that's personally the way that I like to do my brows. So I'll just do the same thing to the other one. Okay, those are my brows finished and done. And it makes me feel so complete and so just like a human when I have my brows done. Then I'll just go in quickly with like an easy brow gel. This is a clear one from um, NYX. They're control freak and I like it. I just feel like if I put too, too much, then it has like a weird, it gives them a weird texture. So. I like, like to go in and just kind of take off as much as I can. And this just helps like, again, pick up the hair so that it looks like very fluffy and natural, but also like holds it into place. So I'll do that to the other side and then I'll basically be done. <laughs> so that's like basically my entire makeup routine right now. Before I put on my lip, I will um, do just like a nice facial spray. And this is the Mario Badescu Coconut and Green Tea Facial Spray. And I love this one. I will just like cover my eyelashes so that they don't get any like spray on them and then it like transfers down. So I'll do a spray on my forehead and then around my cheeks and it's just so nice. And because we put that highlighter on, it's gonna make it nice and wet and glowy and like perfect. <laughs> for the summer. So the comments to do this makeup routine was on my summer empties video and that in that video I'm wearing like a red lip which I do love. I love a red lip in the summer especially when you don't have like a lot of eye makeup on. I feel like it's just so pretty to have like a bare face with like a pop of red on your lips. It's so gorgeous but for today I thought I would just share another version of that. So the red lip that I did use I will show you guys just so you have that but it's not my favorite. I've talked about this red lip before but not my favorite but the liner is great so the liner is ColourPop and it is in the shade bossy so this is a great liner it's so easy to apply and it's such a beautiful red and the lip that i was wearing again is not my favorite one but it's like okay for now basically i just have to do a lot of coats to get it like really really on my lips but it is the ultra blotted lip in the shade bit of sunny so it's ColourPop again. I love ColourPop. I just wasn't like obsessed with the formulation and maybe I got a weird one. I don't know. But that was what I was wearing. Um, and yeah, I love a red lip. But for today, I figured I would just do another one of my favorites, which is just a simple gloss. I love a glossy lip in the summer. And this one is the NYX Butter Gloss in the shade Creme Brulee. And it's one of my favorites. So I'm just gonna pop that on my lips. 
and I like this one because it's very glossy and wet but it's like the perfect shade to match my lips so it's not too pink it's not too like nude it gives it a little color um, but nothing too intense so that's why I love it in the summer it's fun and easy for the day and then if you were to like go out you could do the red lip super easy with the same face look so now I'm gonna take my hair out hopefully it didn't get too crazy and messed up but that is all I do for my skin right now in the summer I really do appreciate your guys's request because I always want to make videos that you guys want to see and that you guys enjoy so thank you so much for requesting this and I hope that you enjoyed it and it was helpful to see the products that I love and use right now especially in the summer and the Sun it's just so fun to be like put together um, but you also don't have to wear a ton of makeup because like I said I'm not having like the best skin day but I still feel like my best and put together so I think that that's the most important thing so I will have everything linked below if you would like to check it out for yourself leave me a comment if you enjoyed the video definitely subscribe if you are new and I will see you guys in my next one bye